This video is on simplifying polynomials. In the last lesson, you were introduced to polynomials, and this ex expression here is a polynomial. Comprising this polynomial are three monomials. This is a monomial, this is a monomial, and this is a monomial. But we also have a different name for these monomials. And in a polynomial, we're going to refer to these as terms. So for this polynomial, it has three terms. So a term is nothing more than a monomial in a polynomial. In this example, you can see that you have four terms. Now, two of these terms kind of stand alone. And the two in the center here are actually like terms. And what that means is they have the same variable to the same power. So they both have x as a variable, and they both have it to the same power, which for this um, example would be just to the first power, which we don't represent. So what we want to do is put this in simplest form. And simplest form is just an expression with no like terms. So we want to simplify this down where we only have one term that has an x, not two terms. And remember that expression means it has no equal sign. So this is an expression. If it were an equation, there would be an equal sign and then some type of value to the right of the equal sign. So for this expression here. In simplest form it would be 2x squared plus 5x. We just add these two together plus 1. Let's take a look at an, another example. Here we have uh, two terms with the same variable x and 2x here. But we also have two other terms with similar variables y and y here. So I need to combine those like terms together. So what I've done here was first use the commutative property to move the terms closer together. And then I'm using the associative property here with the parentheses to combine them. So I've got x plus 2x and then negative 2y minus y. So I'll just go ahead and do the arithmetic involved with those. And the solution would be 5x squared plus 3x plus negative 3y plus 1. And I can reduce that farther down to simply being 5x squared plus 3y, 3x minus 3y plus 1. So that would be my final solution. Things to remember, you're simplifying polynomials with like terms. And like terms have the same variables to the same power. So x squared and x, although they are the same variable, they are not to the same power. So I would not combine those terms because they are not like terms.